Presidential Election Day edition. My name is Michael Walksher, and I'm going to be doing an oil painting with none other than Bob Ross. I don't know what painting it's going to be, but I'm going to be drinking and painting the whole time and following along with Bob Ross. Now, for this special joy of drinking, I've got red, white, and blue liquor to celebrate the red, white, and blue colors of the American flag. I am Michael Walksher, and I represent all the beautiful and disgusting rage and patriotic glory that is this beautifully awful presidential election cycle. I have my unofficial Trump gear. I have my unofficial Hillary gear. And of course, I'm cloaked in the flag herself. So, I don't know what painting I'm going to be doing with Bob Ross, but I want to get started. Oh, I've also got these Harley Quinn booty shorts, but hey, they get the job done. All right. My fellow patriot, my fellow American, Ron, is going to tell me what Bob Ross painting I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be Season 25, Episode 13, The Property Line. I can't help but think of <laughs> Let's Build a Wall for the Property Line. Uh, and the uh, colors I'm going to be using. Let me just grab my palette. I wouldn't mind just doing a painting in red, white, and blue, but we've got some more colors. And those colors are starting with titanium white in the corner here and going up like this. We got titanium white, Prussian blue, midnight black, dark sienna, Van Dyke brown, alizarin crimson, sap green, cadmium yellow, Indian yellow, perhaps Native American yellow more appropriately, yellow ochre, and permanent red. Well, I'm ready to start this election day special, so all I need to do is tell Ron to cast his ballot, which is to say push play on the Bob Ross episode. Vote it, Ron. Hmm, there's nothing on the TV, Ron. Here it comes, here it comes. There's Bob. So yeah, you can follow along with me and Bob Ross by clicking the link in the description down below. And I hope that you do that, because watching us uh, painting side by side is a heck of a lot more fun. But what could really be more fun than this hideous outfit that I have on? <laughs> fun little painting today. All right, let's get started. Two inch brush. Let it happen. Okay. Ooh, I threw away all my colors. That's okay. This looks like blue to me. Let's start with a happy little American sky. A happy little American blue. Ooh, I could have used even less paint, but this will be fine. Blue and black. Okay. Gray winter scene. Okay. So no, I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, what to vote for, what to do this election. I'm just here to offer you a brief reprieve to celebrate so we can all celebrate the glory of this terrible, awful, but frankly very interesting election cycle. And don't forget to vote for drinking. Don't forget to vote for drinking. Thank you, Ron. You know, it's not the joy of drinking unless it's a joy to drink. So I've got to put the start of my painting on hold to take my first drink. Okay. That's all well and good. And we're going to start with Vigilance, Sauvignon Blanc, the white of the flag. Vigilance, because we must be vigilant in protecting our democracy that our ancestors fought for, that we fight for today. It is only through vigilance that we maintain our beloved 
democracy. It's your civic duty to be vigilant. At least that's what the Sauvignon Blanc has to say. We'll find out later what the others have to say. Into the what? But I don't know what color I'm using. <laughs> I wasn't vigilant, Bob. I was vigilant for America. I wasn't vigilant for your painting. Oh, it looks like brown. Sure. Oh, I didn't clean my brush. Ugh. Don't get me wrong. I would really, really love to just cruise along and think that it's all going to be okay. But I know from experience that if I do not make an effort to clean this brush, it's going to be terrible fast. Okay, we're just going to take a little bit of these yellows here because that's kind of what it looks like. And here we go. Ah, yellow ochre. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Uh, I think that's the yellow ochre. We're going to go with that one. Okay. Ooh, backlight. Oh, man. Way too much yellow. The problem is that the yellow isn't part of the American flag. Anything that's not red, white, and blue is just going to be either too much or too little in this painting. I know it. I can see it. Okay, a little color on the canvas in case, so I don't have to worry about what it is. Sure. Color. Ooh, it's way too much color. It's way too much color. Oh, well. We'll fix it later. Yeah, he's using a small amount of paint. But now for the red. For the red, we've got unruly. Because let's face it, the electoral process, the political process, is really just a doggy dog catastrophe bonanza where the strongest survive and there are no real rules. Yeah, we've got our rules, but those rules were made to be broken by anyone who's got the cojones, or not the cojones in this case, to seize power by breaking whatever rule they can and getting away with it. Here's the unruly, the unruly side of American Yeah, I mean, cojones. I mean, seriously. Are we even talking about, ser uh, like, grab him by the pussy, right? This is the, apparently, uh, what we're, <laughs> what our uh, candidates are doing this election. This make cojones seem kind of antiquated, doesn't it? Ooh, a tree! supposed to be removing paint oh wow so I'm not really supposed to be even having white I'm just supposed to be removing stuff I don't know about that I don't know about that but yeah you know this painting is getting a little bloated I feel like in this painting cycle less is more we can remove paint ooh yeah. Oh man, my trees look so like third grade, right? Um, sure, but that's fine. Ooh, flick the fan brush, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's like a wintry... I have a feeling that this painting is not going to amount to much by the time it's done. Go, go, go. Go, go. And what do we have for blue? For our blue, for our American blue, we've got blue carousel, an apparently orange flavored sort of schnapsy thing um, because someone decided that we needed blue alcohol just for the sake of mixing interesting colors. Uh, so here it is. It's plastic, it's artificial, and in that sense represents the soul of American capitalism, I guess. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. Oh, 
Oh, tastes like a vitamin C pill. Pretty gross. But hey, if it's red and it's white and it's blue, it belongs. Oh, see, I predicted it. I predicted it. Okay, Prussian blue blew it down. Oh, damn. Still got the yellow in there. The yellow. Messing with the blue and the white. Oh, I know this is going to go badly. But let's give it a shot anyway. Man, where is that? Is it down here? Okay. Well, if I can put them wherever I want them, then I haven't technically made a mistake yet. Oh, I see. It's like these are like combined. This is this is going to be an abstract landscape, ladies and gentlemen. I guess they kind of always are. Maybe not even abstract. I think abstract is giving myself too much credit. Blue and black. Okay. Uh, black. Oh, okay. He just like mixed it up with the color he already had. Okay. He's going over here. Man, this thing is just falling apart. I kind of like it. It's like representative of a lot of the positions that our presidential candidates take. They, they are like trying to form something and then what comes out? It's like this weird, I mean, the hodgepodge of nonsense that seems to resemble something, maybe. Uh, it sort of has some feeling behind it. You know, you want to get behind it. And yet, when you take a closer look at it, it, uh, it doesn't resemble anything that it's supposed to be. It's like Bob Ross is the moderator, and he's asking me a question, and I'm giving him the answer, and yet my answer has nothing to do with the question that he's posed. I've just gone off and done my own thing. Okay. But that's maybe the American way. We do things how we want. We do what we want when we want it. Or do we respect international sovereignty? Are we a nation of laws? Do we not do what we want when we want just because we feel like it? Are we not impulsive? Perhaps we're not impulsive. Which America do you want? You get to choose. That is kind of a funny thing, isn't it? It's like, choose your America. All right, Bob's telling me not to be afraid to experiment. Um, so I think I'll experiment with a little bit more red. Let's see if that improves my painting at all. Okay, all right, I just gotta clean this brush. I just gotta clean this brush. Hello? Hola! 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 What is, what is this? A Mexican beer? What is a Mexican beer doing in my American painting? Corona. No, no, no. This, this Corona... This Mexican beer is infiltrating my painting. It's like, look, I, we either have a painting or we don't have a painting, guys. And the fact is, you know, these American liquors that we pay good money for, this Corona comes in with its low prices, and it undercuts them. It's bad for America. It's bad, people. It's just bad. Whew, two inch. Okay, some red, I guess, and some white. Man, we do need to build that wall, don't we? The wall that is my stomach lining, being infiltrated by Mexican beer. Vaya cerveza. What? Ah! There's a picture of an animal now. I don't even see the painting anymore. What am I doing? Um, um, ah! Uh, this has never happened. 
I've never been doing a Bob Ross episode, and then I'm trying to paint along, and then suddenly it's a picture of, like, a raccoon? Oh, my God. Oh, thank goodness. We're back. We're back. God intended for him to be free, and God intended us to be free! God intended us Americans to be free! Oh man, and I'm just going like way too low. I'm all over the map on this one! No, no, this painting is... this represents nothing. This is... as an aside, this is like the worst... I think this might be the worst one I've ever done! <laughs> But hey, it's fitting for the worst election that we've ever had. I mean, I can't speak historically, but uh, it's been pretty, pretty fucking terrible, guys. I think that can be a bipartisan statement, even a nonpartisan statement. It's just been bad. Okay, what don't we want to set on fire, Bob? Snow. Oh no, no, I don't need. I don't even know where I am. I'm just gonna take the one-inch brush and see. See what I can... So hold on, someone's knocking at my door. Hello? Здравствуйте! Здравствуйте! What? Russian standard vodka? Now the Russians are trying to infiltrate? The Russians are trying to infiltrate my painting? No, no, no. This is an American enterprise. Bob Ross is an American enterprise. I'm trying to drink American liquor here. It's compromising the integrity of the painting. Compromising it. I have no puppet. I'm not a puppet. You're the puppets. I have no puppet to Russian vodka. I'm not going to let it influence the outcome of my painting. No, no, no. I don't know. I dare say it could only improve it. Okay, um, some brown or something? What is he talking about? You know, like, in a way, he's talking about how he's getting attached to the rascals of, like, these animals. Don't you feel like... In a way, we're kind of getting attached to these to these candidates. Like, what's going to happen when the election is over? It's like the best reality TV show of the last two years is just going to be gone all of a sudden. I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm starting to feel sympathy for my captors. Do we really want it to go? Do we really want to hold this election? I'm not sure that we do. Well, I know that we definitely don't because <laughs> most of us don't want to... To pick either of them, the two highest or lowest favorability ratings in U.S. in modern U.S. history, just just garbage. But hey, God bless America. God bless America. More blue and white, okay. Blue and white. But is it not one of the great traditions? If not one of the great prides of the joy of painting that we Accept the outcome of the painting. No matter how it really turns out. After the hard-fought painting, we accept the outcome. No mistakes, just happy accidents. Well, I'll tell you what. I will accept the outcome of this painting. But only if it's good. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see when it's done. If I accept the outcome. We'll just have to see. Oh great, oh great. Who's knocking at my door this time? Ni hao. 
你好，姓陶。Chinese are trying to get in on it. The Chinese population's growing, influencing our media. You can see it. You can see it in Captain America, all the Captain America movies. You can see it in all the blockbusters. They are adding Chinese actors to appease the Chinese audience, and now it's infiltrating even a solo YouTuber. On the joy of drinking. The trees had a hard life. Okay. I mean, frankly, China, the Chinese beer is just out competing us. I'm feeling more tipsy from that Chinese beer than I am from these. We're being out competed. We're not winning anymore. We're not drinking anymore. Okay, I don't know where that tree is, but、uh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's around here. Okay. The old creaking democracy. Democracy oligarchy. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. All that makes sense. It's art. I know you like big trees, Bob. We gotta have one. This is the last show of this series, Bob is saying. We gotta have a big tree, a big old American tree, and I'm gonna make it red for like a redwood. I'm gonna add some red. I'm just going off the rails here. A filbert brush. I don't know what a filbert brush is. So I guess I'll use the one inch. Man, are you guys listening to this? <laughs> Bob is just in a negative mood today. A big buck came through and and like stepped on this tree. I have ne ne the abuse he's talking about. I have never heard him get so negative. When it comes to making his trees, <laughs> Bob is talking about a psychiatrist who lost and gave trees arms and foots. Oh my god! Wow, I love. I like that color. Hey, I think something good came out of this. Yeah. I want arms and feet on my trees. Make it a little bit thicker. I'm gonna make it thicker because it's the only thing that actually looks good on my painting so far. Yeah, let's go down. Yeah, I like a tree with character too. I like a candidate with character too. Let's see. Let's talk about the criticisms levied against these candidates. All right. In terms of character, speaking from the side of either opposition, Hillary, crooked Hillary, crooked Hillary has no character. Donald Trump is a character; <laughs> he's literally a character. So, can you win either way? I don't know. All right,、uh, there we go. An arm, and、um, more. Oh man, he's got a lot of weird little arms and feet. Okay. Oh god, that's a horrible arm. Okay, but、uh, yeah, okay. And then let's get one over here, going off the canvas, and another. Let's just expand the foot here. There we go. I don't know. I'm just really loving making this tree. I'm not even worrying about all the other stuff I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I can feel the bark. Yeah. Okay. And the thing over there. Oh, I ruined the base of that tree. That's all right. Are we ruining the foundation of our great nation? Oh, there's snow on it now. Okay. 
clean this brush. I don't know what that was. What just happened? The American flag. The American flag fell down! Oh my god. It didn't touch the ground, so don't worry about that. Although I think everything I'm doing in this episode is probably a heck of a lot more disgraceful than I could even worry about that. That flag was made in China, I'll have you know. Bought it the other day for $6.99. Made in China. I did buy a Make America Great Again hat that I'm not wearing because I wanted to represent Hillary as well. Because it's not a hodgepodge unless it's a hodgepodge. I think I will never try to say the word hodgepodge in any kind of remotely badass way ever again, because I don't think that came out well. But the point is, it was made in China, but it wasn't official campaign gear, so what can I say? Ooh, a fence. Let's build a fence. We're building a fence? Building a fence? No. Look, I've been claiming, I've been claiming for a few paintings now, for a few episodes, that I'm just gonna go and do something crazy. I'm gonna go off the rails, Make the painting how I want to make it, and now is that time. Because he's building a fence, but what America really needs, what America really needs is a wall. So I'm going to take some white, and I'm going to take some black, and just make a big old mess of, like, grayness. Because let's face it, this painting can't really get any better. Uh, and this, it's kind of a purple one, because when somehow this midnight black, when you mix it with white, it becomes kind of purple. And we're just gonna build a wall. I'm gonna build a big American wall right here. Yeah, build it. Build the wall. Build the wall around the tree. We'll go behind the tree, I guess, and kind of continue up here. Yeah, we build that wall. We build that wall for America. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful wall. It's a beautiful wall. We make the best walls. It's made with Chinese steel, but we make the best walls. Why am I going back for the blue carousel? I don't know. It's like, it's like I'm America. And this is the poison that is destroying it. My liver. Look at my crumbling infrastructure. It's inside me. Can't handle it. No one's doing anything about it. Where's the policy? Where's the policy to prevent me from this self-destructive behavior? No, it's in our hands. It's in your hands, America. It's in your hands to vote to restore our crumbling, drunken infrastructure. Okay, what do we got? What was he doing? I don't know. All I know is I've got this childish tree here, and he's signing his name. That's what we're doing. I love it. I love it. And I hope to see you again, too. But we're not quite done. I look forward to painting with you again in the future, Bob. If we still have a country, and if I'm still here to paint it. So let's sign my name. M for Michael. W for Walkshire. So, America, now the charge is on you to go out and vote. I hope that this um, presentation I've given you has uh, has helped you make your decision in this vitally important presidential election. Actually, I just hope it's entertained you. Hey guys, I want you to subscribe right now if you haven't done it already. Subscribe to The Joy of Drinking. Also, if you're just watching me do this solo, click the link in the description down below to watch me and Bob Ross painting side by side. So, um, happy little trees, happy little America, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing for my next episode, but I have a feeling I'm going to have me a mustache.
We'll just have to see about that. So, uh, peace out. And make America paint again. Bye-bye.